Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. So I see a lot of people writing me about mixed messages. They're getting mixed messages. Okay, mixed messages are all one thing. It's confusion. Now, there are a lot of confused daters. You don't have to be one of them. And the reason that mixed messages are so upsetting is that if you're clear in your intention, it's going to be against every part of your disposition to feel comfortable interacting with somebody who isn't. So what are the possible reasons for confusion? One, the person truly is confused. When we meet somebody, we never know their backstory. You may have met somebody at a party, met them online. It appears that they're open and that they're willing to start a relationship. They may have said they're not interested in a relationship, but they want to date casually. Whatever it is that they've said or that you've sussed out from their conversation, you may think you have a chance to do something with them. Then the confusion sets in, the backpedaling, the hot and cold, the back and forth. So they're giving you mixed messages. Do I go forward? Do I pull back? Now, it's because they are truly confused. The, the, what you're seeing them do to you is actually what's happening inside themselves. They're having an internal battle. That is the first type of person that has this. Lack of clarity, internal battle, and all sorts of things that you don't know about yet because you don't know them. Are they still seeing their ex? You know, I've known guys that are dating, seriously dating women, but all the time they are trying desperately to get back with their ex, and these gals do not know it. They are in the loop of the first month or two thinking they're in a relationship, that it's going somewhere because he's a perfect gentleman. They don't know that on the other weekends that he's actually trying to get his ex back. And that is where the dominant energy is going. But this is unstated information. And there's no way you would know. It is a blind item purchase. You know, getting a person, meeting them, is like you've got the title on the book. Maybe you got a picture. Maybe the picture looks something like what's in the book. If you're online, it probably doesn't. And you've got to crack the book open and you read chapter by chapter, but you don't know what's in there until you try. And we have no better method than trial and error. Sorry guys, I've tried to find a supreme method, but it's get in, roll your sleeves up, get in the mud and figure it out, that's it. But you're skilled, okay? So remember, confused data because they are confused, backstory stuff that you don't know, are they still with an ex? Are they seeing somebody else and you're number two or three in their loop? Um, do they have baggage and fears? Are they presenting and posturing one way, trying to be that person? They, they, they want to be this person, but there's a lot of them that is at war with themselves. So there is the confused person. Now, the other kind of person that sends you mixed messages does so purposefully. And they are either an innate player or have learned to be a player. And the reason that mixed messages work is that whenever we are destabilized, we seek security. And it is very much human nature to want to run towards something that seemed agreeable and then turned its back on us. You know, that, that creates game. That creates the tension. And so remember... There are many people that are skilled. They watch YouTube channels where people are teaching them to do mixed messages on purpose to keep you hooked and to keep you destabilized. And there are other people who innately have found their way to acting hot and cold and confused because they, they've just learned it puts them at an advantage that somehow acting warm and then retracting and not being sure and playing coy, they may have learned sociologically from people they grew up with, from their best friends, hey, hey, this is a really effective way to do it. And so they've learned this as a technique. So in a way, I find the innocent, naive people harder to crack. You can tell a player, you're playing. I know this game. I know every move you're going to make. Can we drop this? I'm not playing the game. You're adorable, want to be with you, but I'm not doing this. When you bring your real who you are, then we'll talk. You can call a player out because they know they're doing a game. What about the person 
who just, I'm not doing anything. And they really, really believe that. That does exist. Confused persons that you are seeing, I have a simple solution. If you're clear and you're not confused, why? Oh, why? Waste your time. Any of your precious time. Be laboring. What are they thinking? What do they feel? Do they want me? Is it going somewhere? Who cares? On to the next. We have this last bus theory. Like, this is the last bus. There is no other one coming after this. Best looking guy I've seen all year. Oh, the, the hottest chick. Oh, the, the one that understands my sense of humor. This one, like great lifestyle. Everything about this person is awesome. Got to have them. But, 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 mixed messages and they're confused. It is so much easier than this. And here's a funny thing, and it's a good thing, and I'm glad to tell you. The clearer you get, the more you know yourself, it'll be an easy shake off of these people. The more solid and aware you are, you will not be able to abide a confused, mixed up person, regardless of the origin and reasons for their confusion. It will become distasteful, unattractive, certainly not appealing. And that's the good news. Clarity prefers clarity. You don't need to diminish yourself to their level of confusion for whatever reason, for game or for, it's because it's all they know. So keep seeking the higher ground. The more you educate yourself, the easier your dating and romantic life will be. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And if you prefer to listen on podcast, please subscribe or tune in to the Susan Winter Show on iTunes. Thanks a lot.